Hi everyone, my name is Kara and I'm a registered kinesiologist with the Windsor Essex Community Health Center and today we're going to be doing a standing upper body workout. You'll need a couple things. You'll need a chair just to support yourselves in case you feel a little bit off balance or you need to take a rest at any time. You'll also need a canned good, so maybe a can of soup or whatever else you have around your home. A water bottle would be fine too. And then also keeping that water bottle so that you can have a drink at any time or take that break. So we're gonna get started with our warm up. So nice and tall, we'll stand behind your chair and you should have a wider base of support when you're standing. So my legs are about the width of the chair or the width of my shoulder blades apart. So nice and tall, we'll start by rolling those shoulders back. Nice deep breaths. So again, today we're doing an upper body workout in standing, but we're still gonna add in that warm up just to make sure that we're ready for exercise, checking with ourselves how we're doing today. We'll get two more shoulder rolls. One more time. Good. Let's bring those hands up and together and start rotating those wrists the best you can. You can make a circle, you can go side to side, whatever feels better for you. Good job. We'll keep those hands together and when you're ready, we're going to extend our arms forward away from our body and then bring them back in. So waking up those elbows, waking up those shoulders, the muscles in our upper back. We might feel a little bit of a stretch there as we reach forward. Good job. And even through that warm up, we're making sure we're continuing to breathe, listening to our body and going at our own pace. We'll get our last two here, reaching forward and back once more. Good job. We can bring those hands down by our sides and we'll make little circles the best you can. Little circles with those arms. And we'll go the opposite direction with those circles. Perfect. One arm at a time. I'll take my time with this one especially. We're gonna start by reaching up as high as we're able to go. Maybe the highest shelf that you have and we'll alternate side to side, reaching up. Listen to your shoulders as you're doing this. We're not gonna push past pain. So we might have a really high shelf or our shoulders are telling us maybe a halfway reach. Whatever is good for you. We'll get our last one on each side, making sure those shoulders are nice and awake. One more time. Good work. Once again, let's take a deep breath in through our nose and then out through our mouth. Good job. So we're through with that warm up for our upper body. Now we're gonna go into our strengthening exercises. So we're gonna start with a shoulder blade squeeze. So again, nice and tall behind that chair. You can use both hands or one hand. I'll demonstrate with both first. We're gonna put our hands in front of our body as if we're holding a tray. We have a tray in front. We'll take a deep breath in through our nose. As we exhale, bringing those arms back, squeezing your shoulder blades together, and then relaxing forward. So the goal here is to not drop that tray. And we wanna focus on that squeeze in our upper back, squeezing our shoulder blades together. Good work. So again, you might be continuing with both hands at the same time, squeezing those shoulder blades back together. Or if you wanted to separate that movement, you might hold on to the chair with one hand, focus on one side, switching when you feel ready. Good. I'm going to go ahead and switch. So I do a couple more on this other side, but again, you might continue with both hands squeezing those shoulder blades together. Great exercise to help with our posture. So often we're at a computer or a desk leaning forward. 
going to get one more here, and you'll get one more wherever you're at. Good. You can relax those hands. Again, roll those shoulders, take a nice deep breath, and if you need a drink of water at any time, feel free to do so. For our next exercise, I'm going to grab that can. So go ahead and grab yours as well. I'm going to bring my hand down by my side, and with the opposite hand, I'm going to hold on to the chair. I'll take a deep breath in through my nose, and as I exhale, curling that can up towards my shoulder and relaxing back down. Muscles targeted here are biceps. And then a couple tips, we want to keep that arm close to our body, keeping our wrist as straight as possible. here and rest good work so now we're going to switch to the opposite side so go ahead and switch to the other hand I'm going to hold on with the other hand now hand is down by my side taking a deep breath in and as I exhale bringing that can up towards my shoulder and then relaxing back down we have lots of options here so we might do eight we might do 10, 12, pick the number that is best for you. You should feel fatigue as you get to the last two curls. Good work, we got a couple more here. Taking your time and squeezing that bicep as we bring it towards the top of our curl. Good, we got one more, you can do it and rest good job we can bring the can back to the other hand maybe roll the shoulders for a second and we'll go into our triceps so for our triceps again we're going to make sure we have a wider stance a good base of support behind our chair i'm going to hold on with one hand and this time i'm going to bend my knees a little bit and lean forward so i have this uh, lean forward a little bit my hand is gonna start at the top of the curl now. When I'm ready, I'll take a deep breath in. As I exhale, I'm gonna bring that hand down and back, squeezing the back of my arm as I do so. Good work. So again, our arm is close to our body. This time, the action is down and back, a little bit past your hip, if you're able to, or you can aim towards your hip. Good work, targeting the back of the arm. We've got our last two here. We've got one more, you can do it. and rest. So I'm going to relax my stance for a moment, maybe roll my shoulders again, and then switch sides. Same thing, the other hand is holding on. I have that wider stance. I'm going to bend my knees a little bit, leaning forward. Starting at the top of the curl, I'm going to come forward just a little bit. Starting at the top of the curl, we're extending that arm down and back, away from our body. You should feel that squeeze in the back of our arms. And again, taking our time, slow and controlled. We've got a couple more here, you're doing great. You should feel that muscular fatigue starting to set in. Last two, squeezing down and back away from the body. One more time and rest good job if you need a little second to take that rest you can put the can down and let's give our wrists another little massage so we'll put our hands together rotate those wrists focus on your breath here maybe your heart rate was increased slightly maybe you found some shortness of breath all part of exercise good work 
When you feel you're ready, we'll come back into some shoulder work. So nice and tall, I'm just gonna hold the chair for a second, taking a deep breath in through my nose and out through my mouth. And one more time, deep breath in and out. Good. So go ahead again and grab that item that you're working with and we're gonna work on our shoulders. Nice and tall, holding onto that chair one arm at a time, only taking a deep breath in. And as I exhale, lifting that item in front of my body and slow and controlled back down. I'm only lifting as high as my shoulder height. It's not going overhead. And again, I'm keeping control with that arm. So I'm not letting it drop. And we'll get a couple more. Our shoulders might be slightly weaker than our biceps. So we want to take that into account. If we need to do less, we might do less. If we need to use a different weight, we might use a different weight. Another option is we might not use any resistance at all, just our arm. Good, we'll get our last two here lifting up we should feel some fatigue in the front of that shoulder one more and rest good job maybe roll that shoulder and then we'll switch to the other side same thing holding on to the chair hand is down by your side taking a deep breath in as we exhale lifting that arm in front of our body and back down she always makes an appearance. Forward and she leaves. <laughs> Good work. Keep breathing, keeping that item controlled in your hand, keeping your wrist as straight as you can. We're just about there. We'll get our last two. One more. Good work. You can put that item on your chair, down by your side. Let's roll those shoulders back and take some nice deep breaths in and out. Great work today. So we're gonna do a little bit of a cool down and we'll go into our stretching. So nice and tall. Again, I wanna have that wider stance. I'm gonna extend my arms uh, below my shoulders, down by my sides, and I'm gonna scoop in some water. So nice and easy. Again, you can do this with both arms. You can do this with one arm, maybe alternating or doing both at the same time. We'll get a couple more just like that, scooping in that water. Last one here. Good job. We can rest our hands on our chair and we'll just go down to our legs just for a second because we have been standing for quite some time. So we wanna maybe move those feet a little bit. So we're gonna just tap forward, just a little cool down. Focusing on your breath and see how you feel. Maybe you have some fatigue already, maybe you have a little bit of soreness. Good, we'll get our last two taps on each side. Good, and you can rest those feet. So we'll dive into our stretches now. So holding those positions. Take your time, we'll reach one hand up as high as we can go. The other one is down low or you can hold on to the chair. So reaching up, again, that highest shelf. We should feel a stretch in our side body. We should feel a stretch in our neck, the other side. Good, that hand that's in the air, we're gonna lower behind our head. So opening up those triceps holding our position for about 10 to 15 seconds, or maybe three deep breaths. Good, we're 
like taking that arm out, bringing it in front of our body like you're gonna give someone a handshake and then crossing over your body. The opposite hand can support if needed, just to give that shoulder a little bit more of a stretch. We can rotate our wrist if we like, flex our fingers, move our thumb. We forget about those joints. Good, and relax that arm. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So again, reaching up as high as you can. Maybe one side's a little different. Maybe the height is lower. So you wanna to listen to that shoulder. Good work. Taking that hand again, maybe putting behind your head. If you can't reach behind your head, you can put it on top, wherever you have your range. Again, stretching our triceps. So again, stretching those triceps, and we'll take that arm out, bring it right in front of our body, across our body, and providing support if needed. Rotate your wrist. Again, moving your fingers, your thumb. And relax that arm. Good job, roll those shoulders. And let's do one more, opening up our chest. So we'll take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we'll extend our arms out to the side, nice and wide. Our fingers are spread open, palms open. We should feel a stretch across our chest, into our arms, our hands. Good, when you're ready, we'll reach across, give yourself a great big hug, opening up your upper back. Again, if you need to do this one arm at a time, you might hold on and then you might switch or you can do both together. And just aiming wherever you can reach. Maybe it's a small hug, maybe it's a big hug, that's okay. Good work. Relax those arms, give them a little shake. And we'll take a deep breath in through our nose, opening up our arms the best we can, breathing out, relaxing them down. One more time, deep breath in and out. Great work today, everyone. I hope you enjoy this workout and we'll see you next time. Bye.